Welcome to the Armenia campaign for Davidiat in Pera 1.2.5. And before we get into the gameplay, I want to say a big thank you to Simeon Lomelelo, who pointed out that there is now a new update, 1.2.5c, available in beta. And it looks a very interesting update. Now, I'm not going to load the beta files into this campaign. I've been caught like that before, and it's often, sometimes it's resulted in the save game being broken. So I'm going to wait for the actual update to be launched into the stable branch before I include it into this campaign. But for anyone who wants to know a little bit about what's in this update, I will go over the, the main top features. The focus is very much on changes to combat, which means Cam has been working his magic. And I would like to say a big thank you to Cam for doing that. Um, some, some of the changes may affect this campaign. There's been a dis an increase in the disengagement penalty or cavalry when they break away from a after a charge that could have a major effect on the, the, the way I use my cavalry armies especially when we're charging in trying to break units there's also an addition of special horses now I'm not exactly too sure what this means until we can get a good look at the stats but it looks like certain cavalry units are going to have special horses with their own attributes which will add to the abilities of that cav that would be something that's really worth looking at. There's also you know, going to be changes to um, fatigue related to around ranged units. Again, it's something that we're going to have to learn to live with once once this update drops. Now, the, besides the combat changes, and there are a lot more combat changes than what I've just mentioned, there's been an overhaul to the medium faction, which means that once the update is out, I will add the medium faction to my list of factions to play. I've been waiting for that update for some time. They've also added new Barbarian traits to create a bit of variety between the different Barbarian factions. I'm really looking forward to taking a look at that, simply because one of my reasons I don't play a lot of Barbarian factions is the similarity between the between them all. And once you've played one, you, it almost feels like you're just playing the same campaign over and over again. And then finally, a change which I am going to find very welcome, that is they are moving the capital change button away from the center of the screen so it means that you won't have to skirt around it anymore when you actually complete a battle so let's just get into the gameplay now and all i've done is i've rolled over the end turn from the previous video and if you watch that you'll be aware that i was given this mission and i've already completed it already so we've got another nineteen thousand, and we've got been issued with another objective it says subjugate 20 different factions by making them your satrapies or capturing their remaining settlements we're probably well on the way to doing that as well so before we get into taking on these armies here, a little bit of a recap. In the last part, we were effectively forced into pushing up to here. One, to, so that we could get close to these armies which are looting this area, which is causing starvation to this uh, two armies here. Also, this area at the moment is still pretty dead. I'm not sure why that is. I, don't think, I think that will improve the food situation a little bit. I don't think we're... Oh, well, no, it's a whole region so maybe we'll just no I'll see how what's the income um, losing about five I know it's a pretty wealthy income I think we can live with that just for the moment while this builds up its food supplies pushed up and took ammo which means we've taken the final region of these two armies here so what we want to do is get rid of these armies so we can actually improve the storage in the in case and allow our armies to maneuver so we're just going to have a quick look here you've taken attrition you've taken attrition this is a cav army this could be a little bit interesting and ready for battle probably this would be the better army to take this one on so which one do we start with i think we'll start with the cav you army fight for you my lord I mean, it's quite strange the fact that this army's got a baggage train and it's still taking attrition. But now I could auto resolve this, but uh, it's going to really emphasize the damage that this army's already taken. So we're going to fight this. We should be able to do this pretty effectively. I mean, they've got three cav units or four cav units. Once we've got rid of the cav units, the rest of the army should be relatively easy to take down. Nice and dry, start deployment. And the first thing we're going to do is put you right over in that corner. 
because you're just going to be a waste of time. It's one, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is just drop you in the center. What we'll do is we'll use these to supplement. Oops. And I want to go away, Steam. Just have him there. Actually, let's bring these here. And we'll put you out on this side. Usual formations. Actually, let's put you. Now, I think we'll keep these light troops together. Probably eventually you're going to have to replace them with a. I'll keep you behind. You're going to be probably a bit more prone to being attacked. We're going to start the battle. Push the heavy cap up the centre. We you on skirmish mode. What we need to do is draw their cav out. We're going to just leave these out here. I think we'll start to split these into. Okay, three and three. I say what I want to do is draw out their their cav. Because once we've got their cav, then that's it. This is like this own from tree. You okay, pull your way. These are completely out on their own. Right, they're gone. Right. Armored horse archers come up this side. You back onto that. Drawing their cav out, that's exactly what I want to do. Keep drawing them out of the way. You focus on those. You focus on the medium missile cav. Actually, they're curving that way, so. Oh, how are we doing over here? Time for you to move away. We need to keep an eye on these. Just keep drawing their cab away. Yeah, they're going down. Apologies for rushing around the screen in this way. What we've got here a heavy missile cav. You just keep these entertained. You pull this way. Heavy missile cab. And then he gone. We come in on this side. You focus on them. Way. 
the light cav. We just need to get rid of their cav. there. Just keep them entertained. They are like missile infantry. The enemy general is dead. Okay, they're gone. Horse archers in must be perhaps. Alright. You right over in the corner. You go over there. I don't want you crossing the battlefield. Oh, where are they? Okay. Cataphracts that way. Right, their cav are gone. Right, we can now. These in here. I'm going to concentrate on this group up here. Right, we'll just start to. You. Nope. Uh, I want you. You split that way, you split that way. One of our units has used all these ammunition. units are getting trapped in this corner. They get trapped against the edge of the line. Right, time to get the heavy cab in. I think what we will do One of our is units has used all its ammunition. split you off this way. Okay. Where are you? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, we're nearly out of ammunition, so we have to be a little bit careful here. Can we get these guys up to support. You. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yep. Away. Right, we need to get the heavy cavalry operational. Maybe I should have um, auto resolved this. <laughs> right, they're gone. What we need to do now is split away some of their units. Just keep them entertained. A little bit of ammunition left. We'll just use that up. You come around here. I mean, this army is going to have to fall back and refurbish a little bit okay now this is going to be the situation that when the new update comes out life will get very interesting because what you're gonna to have to do is charge in and break the whole unit so that there's no disengagement penalty there we are so we crush those what we need to do now is just bring this units in so that we can get them. What we got here? Medium spear infantry. I think we can harass these. Into. One of our units has used all its ammunition.
being broken. Generals this way. Gather these guys up. Right, we'll put, put them away. you that way and get onto these as you know you can just shatter those right these units are out on their own you come in here when I think we'd rather have you back in here. That's heavy spear infantry. This is medium. Shouldn't really do this, but I think it might be a, a better option. Yeah, the, the morale's so low that. General. Right, these guys are gone. And I think this. Our general is under attack. Yeah. And this is the type of mass charge we may have to do in the future. Right, they've gone. And it's going to continue. I want this army completely destroyed. It's going to speed up a little bit. Taking a few more casualties than I should have done, but well, that's the way it's going to be. I mean, this army is going to have to fall back and replenish I think that is going to be it so end battle we lost 102 on that probably from these two main uh, cav units this is the problem with, when you fight with cav armies the, the, you, even light casualties come across uh, with a situation where you can lose whole units And down they go. Here we go. And, and this is the capital change button that is mentioned in the update. They, they, I think they're going to move it up to here in the top right or up in this area here. So it means that what we you do is you won't have this problem of trying to get underneath it. Anyway, around some captains. And we fight for you, my lord. I think it's the easiest way to get this army to safety is to come this way. They take attrition, they get into this area, and they'll be safe. Before we fight the next battle, I just want to look at something. We've got this small army here. I want to move this army through. It's about there. And now we've got rid of those armies there. What I want to do is take a chance. I'm going to pull this army out back this way. I know it's going to leave Kaith exposed, command, but what I'm thinking is if I send a smaller army up into this area, I could probably get away with less food consumption because this is only 17. Well, that's the theory anyway. You're, you're an artillery army. You're just going to have to stay there at the moment because what we're going to have to do is find a way to get across to these idiots here without taking massive attrition at your command and which army are we going to use Ready for orders. you're the new general we fight you're for one you, of my highly my experienced generals what is the situation with politics at the moment uh, yeah where are you you're in you're in nissa Horrible feeling I'm gonna to need to get these guys into some action. 
Hmm. You're up, actually, up around this area, aren't you? Waiting. Yeah, you're nearly back to full strength. Trouble, trouble is, I'd rather keep this army here so that we can attack this region here. Yeah, this is going to be a fairly tough battle. Anyway, um, digressing. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. My instinct is to use this army over this army. My lord. Because it's actually got the better troops in. I mean, truthfully, I need to cycle these out. And anyway, Ready let's get in. To victory. Ah, I need to run away. Again, fight or not, let's see if the auto resolve is 82%. I just hate this. I think we'll fight it. Just for the funds of it. I mean, they got cav superiority, but I think if we set up a defensive line, we should be okay. Then again, if this army takes a beating, I can meet, get it to meet up with that army with the 17 units in, and we can swap some of these out. It's probably the best way of doing this. Cataphracts, oh, you can sit at the back here. I think we'll use the armored horse archers on this side, and we'll have one of these on each side as well. Let's re reinforce this front line. And what we'll have is you on this side ready to repeal Cav. And then what we'll have is these three units at the back ready to deal with Cav as well. We're going to start to move forward, but we're going to move forward fairly cautiously. Simply because their cav can move very quickly, and that would, could prove a problem. I'm just going to. I must admit, I do like these desert battlefields. Yeah, they are. Let's just I think what we'll do is the axe when there keep you in the center. But they're not moving, but <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Let's just moving you forward. A little bit at a time. Getting up that embankment is going to be a little bit of a tricky. I think what we may have to do is sting them into action. We're going to move a little bit closer. And then we do this. Move these forward. And what we're going to do is try and get it. Here they come. Stop. Yeah. Heavy missile cam. Melee infantry. 
Here they come. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You stay there. Right, there's double charges coming in. You come this way. You should focus on to those. The battle is turning in our favour. Oh, no. Counter charge. You go in against those. Skirmish. Keep hitting there. You can get that. Right. We've won on this side. Hate it when they do this. Oh no, they've gone. Okay. Keep drawing the general out. You slingers start to push out onto the front. Push you out that way. Units has used all its ammunition. Pull this way. You switch your attention to those. General Popper. You push forward. We've got control of the battlefield. Got up here, heavy missile cav. Our general is under attack. Yeah, our general will be okay. Keep focusing on those. Time to sweep the, the back row. You just keep hitting it. You out. Wait, what are you doing on Cataphracts? Sweep these missile troops. That's missile cab for this. Just push them this way. You keep hitting the missile cab. You, you fold in on those. Like missile infantry, you just keep them on the move. You just keep hitting. Right, looks like their cab is breaking on this side. Detach two of those. Where's my other horse archers? Horse archers, this way. Come in on these. They're running away. Slingers. Slingers. Get out of the battlefield. There's my horse archers. You fall onto the backs of those. Actually, you come into here. Uh, right, everything's a little bit of a scrum here. They're gone. 
you stand there. What have we got here? You get rid of those. You go away. Don't you fire into my own troops. Don't you dare do that. Right, let's just disengage some of these units. We don't need them. You move away. I'm going to continue for a little while just to tidy up. By other idiot. Anyone else run? I think that would be it. Battle, end battle. We lost 286. And I think we've annihilated this army, so that should be the end of this faction. Don't run away, please. Wow, that was noisy. And we've now destroyed this faction. We, fight for you, we need to get you. We need to get you out of this area. Right. Got ninety-one thousand to spend. I just want to do a bit of politicking as usual. I want to check to see all the wife, various wives and daughters have got their chance at immortal fame as a politician. Well, I'll send you to Ptolemy. You're finished. Yeah. You're done. Family grows ever bigger. Um. Should get you married, but I don't really want to have the political consequences at the moment. You can go to Athens. Got money. It's the it's these guys have got the real problems. Um, well, it's going to cost me seventy five thousand. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> well, we got a really big, impressive list now. Of Go through. What I'm looking for is minor cities that give me faction wide benefits before we do anything else. I mean, that's going to consume food. I mean, we've got a lot of food. There's minus 4% construction for all regions. Yeah, I think that would be useful. So, this is what you need to do is you need to go through and this is, says here, see, this is level 3. This is. Um, this gives me ten percent. What is that? That gives me plus twenty-five percent wealth from all regions. For two food and a little bit of public order. What does this give me? Twenty percent. This is twenty-five percent. This is. And what does this give me? Fifteen percent, but it gives me a bit. My instinct is to go for the timber trade here in Bactria. That's gonna be a good money spinner. Now this one gives me, this is plus two, this is plus two. It's where you've got to be a bit careful because sometimes the the benefit doesn't go up when it goes to a higher level. So that, that's not as good as it looks. What we've got here, plus two percent public order. No, plus two. There's no real benefit in taking that up. No. All right, we've got another wood one here. I mean, this would be great if it was a cumulative. But I think we will go with that. It's going to take 16 turns, but it will be really beneficial in the long term. That would give me 7 food. A little bit of squalor is going to be okay. I mean, the small amount of food could be justified. Public order is good, so I think we'll take that up. What we got here? Nothing real beneficial there. Oh, we got another one here as well. 
He's got his synopes good, so I'll take that out. That's another 16. So when they all kick in, it's going to be really good. Now we've got Tarsus. And... What will he convert this to? Oh, Armenian warriors. I think we'll keep this as as it is. This is going to. I mean, this is a pretty good one as well. It's going to give me a bit more public order in this area. Yeah, I think we're and we're two food. And it. Yeah, I think we'll go with one of those. What have we got here? Thomas. This is going to give you an extra 6% income, all regions, for four food and for two food and four public order. Public order here is a bit shaky at the moment, so I don't really want to do with that. I think with that, I'll have to wait. These are just straight increases. What is this going to give me? I take this up for four food. This is going to give me an extra 2% tax rate or provinces. Yes, we'll take that. And we got the... Wow. Well, that, that's going to give me another 1,000. A 6% wealth for regions. For four public order and four food. Yeah, I think we can do that in the Dessa. I mean, these are real money spinners now. We got the marble. Once. I think that one can wait. What we got here? Hmm. Nope, that's. I mean, the, the capital buildings are really good, but they, they are very heavy on food, so you don't really want to rush and do those. Barna here. What have I got here? Ready for battle. What are you doing out here? I think we're going to bring you through. Because he could give this this army that's just fought the battle, the archers, and then just retreat with the junk. And what he could that's become all, is the Lord. offensive the arm out here. I think this is this is my faction leader. Oh, you are. You are the faction leader. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, just reading the wrong one. This is our faction leader. Uh, that's good. I think that's all we can do in this part, so we'll just go for an intern. I think we'll go with that. A successful diplomacy has been given uh, has been offered an entire settlement. Oh okay, here we go again. Troops betrayed. Troop morale penalty. Hidden agent exposed. Uh, banditry. Missing supplies. Where's that in Marda? Here. Child is born. Child is born. New political appointment. We've got this here, and we've got a new uh, region down here. So our empire is growing, if we like it or not. Uh, what we got here? One is through public sanitation for turn growth. I don't think I really need that. I'm not as normal. Yeah, well, get rid of that. Well, we could convert that to something else. Um, actually, I think what we're going to do is convert that. Uh, what we're going to do is get rid of get rid of this. We'll move the temple over to here. I think we'll make this into a garrison town. And the public order here is still good. What we'll do is we'll put the temple over. Uh, we could get some food into here. What's the, if I switch this on, what's the, this is minus 15. So this really needs some food in here. So maybe that will wait. So our, our empire continues to grow courtesy of the Egyptians. Now, all these actually belong to other factions. Let's see what the other factions are. You're a satrapy of Egypt. You're a satrapy of Egypt. You're actually at war of Egypt, so you could be a, one of my next targets once we've sorted out that. And same with you in Saba. So what we're probably looking at is once we've dealt with Parthia, 
we're gonna do a lot of desert fighting so we're gonna need to get down here take out these two settlements here then we've effectively got these two factions in a vice now getting across the desert to attack those is going to be fun right we need to ah looks like the attrition no brief moment then i thought the attrition would i'm gonna get you out into this area and we certainly want to get you into this area as well you have further orders ready for battle Right, you should be on supply chains now. Because we've now got rid of the army. So these are on local supply chains. So you should be on a supply chain. You should be on a supply chain. So they should be safe now. And they can start to refurbish. But we're going to have to be very careful here with the food. It says it's minus 78. So I still would like to move these armies back. You I want to move back into this area get you out of there what that should do is empty this region and this should now have plus 20 so we're not going to move no. what we're going to do is just going to put you up about there for the moment on the move my lord Ready for further orders. As long as there's no threat from Path here for the moment, we're just going to be quite happy to leave Cave here doing its own thing. What I want to do is. Ready for orders. Now, which is the army is that. Ready for this orders. is the army that needs to be changed. So, I want to bring you up to. What's the supply situation with Sousa? Not brilliant. At your command. I think you can just stand there for the moment and maybe we'll see if we can recruit some more units. What do you any what do these armies need? My lord. Probably do I mean these units are okay. We're gonna get rid of these units and transfer those to the faction leader. Hector, probably what we could do. Can we recruit some horse archers here? Ready for battle. Yep. Let us get some horse archers here. These are Parthian horse archers. They're not as good as mine though. I can guarantee it. And what we'll do is we'll bring both the these two damaged armies into this area. And then one, the army can swap the um, missile troops and you can replace these two damaged uh, horse archer units. In fact, what we could probably do is take these back and give this army another two heavier horse archers. And then this can be our kind of uh, empire management army once we've actually solved the problems. Kind of thinking of a sneak attack here, but to do that we would need to... just want Make you to stand there man. for the moment start to move into range of this army at your service let me just come out here Sweet to see what silent. so what I we're going to need to do is me. kind of come in here with a cav army now i could bring the cav now it's going to take too long to get around here so i really need at least two armies to come in here with night attack so we can take down this lot in one go so, this is an artillery army. It's, I'm going to need it, but really I need this army up and running. So what we're going to have to do is a little bit of manoeuvring. I think I'm just going to go one more turn. Um, I think I can pass on the the uh, situation with the building. We've only got 57,000. So we're just going to go for another quick end turn. Oops, we've got unassigned skills. Just so that I can move those armies into a position where we can get 
uh, start the next phase of the campaign. Ready for battle. So we come in here. Uh, I want campaign movement range if you can give it to me. Public order could be useful, but I think the campaign movement range would be even more important. So we're just going to go for an turn. A okay, hidden agent exposed. Child has died. Research complete. We've now completed ammunition stores. Child is born. Daughter comes of age. Another daughter. Or feather. Uh, increase in rank. Admiral. Right, we've now completed. I can't remember what it was now. This is ammunition stores. So we've got minus six banditry across the entire uh, nation. We've got plus 25% ammunition for units during siege defense battles. And we've got uh, extra plus 20% shots per minute for all siege engines. We could go for that. That will give me Weaponsmith, which will give me an upgrade to mold my armies. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that's more important? I mean, our economy is really strong at the moment, so I don't really need that. Uh, this tree is finished. I mean, Minus one provincial capital main settlement chain construction times all. It's not really that urgent. I think I would rather go for this to get the army upgrade because it's only four turns. And I think, and plus we'll get minus two enemy siege holdout time, double siege. But yeah, I think that would be the more important thing. Construction, wow. <laughs> well, we've got a whole load of wells to upgrade. Let's just move our armies first. I need. I need to keep moving this army. Wait. Gathering now, supplies, this is going to give me negative food in here. We've only got one set of supplies, so. Ready for battle. Now, what's the supply situation here? Minus 28. I mean, really need to get these armies out of this area. What's the supply situation in faith now? Now plus twenty-five. Um, right, I can sneak you just across the border. And I think we're gonna to need to get you down to Sousa. And maybe we're gonna to have to bring you into this area. Um, so that you can push up. So what's this? This is yeah. We can bring this army round and up into here, so they can move north. Where's my? Ready for orders. You can get. I think we're. You're just there. I mean, you're the, the army that needs the I missile will. troops. So I love. Going to push you. I think what we could do is bring this army up to here and we can sneak round this bit here. At your command. Yeah, now it's nice and safe, just check to make sure. So. Yeah, this is plus 30. My lord. And the, minus 34, so you haven't got much left in here as well. Oh, this is fun. I don't think we need this. So I, th I think we can get rid of this and get some food in here now. I, I need more food and we need more storage capabilities in order to be operating in this area. Um, don't. Yeah, I think we're just. This army's just going to have to wait. In fact, I, I'm going to be a bit more extreme. I'm going to bring you back to about here. Because in some ways I've got enough armies up here to finish the job, really. If I can get them into action. So we've got two armies over here, we've got another army there, we've got reinforcing armies. Yeah, I think I think maybe it's time for this army to start making its way back west. Maybe down into this area so we can I certainly would like to join Egypt's war and take this area here. So 
but we don't have any spies. Where are all my spies? You're up there. And you're up there. You're there. Where are you? You're there. I need you there. I need you there. At your service. I think we're gonna. Right. Your job is gonna be to come here. And what we're gonna do is start to move you down here. We're gonna start planning our next invasion. It'll take them a few turns to get there, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we only need two agents working up in this area, and I think that's about all we can do. It's just have a check at the rest of the empire while we're at it. We've got this army here. My instinct is to start, keep building this army up ready. Oh, we've got elephants. I think there's also the new update's got some changes for elephants as well. And I can't remember offhand what, what it is. I think they've increased so they're not quite, they don't break so easily. I think we'll get a couple the more of these. Needs good fighters. And don't want any pikes of it. I want this army to be ready. Uh, elephants are. I think we'll, we'll leave space for elephants just for the fu sheer fun of it. What we got here? Yeah, I mean these are Cappadocian lancers. I think we'll concentrate on. The, yeah, we've got lots of horse archers. I think if we leave enough here and just recruit two extra ones there, that would give me the option to turn this into a siege army should I need it. And I don't think we're going to be any more cheeky and go out and think so. Just have a quick look at the empire. We need to go through. So we've got a whole load of uh, what we call it is to upgrade what we got here in Nyssa. Not feeling it for that. Certainly could do. Roads. I don't think you need the defences at the moment. So I don't want to drain all my food away. That sanitation effect is already working. We go to the next level. What's this? No, to go to this. This is going to give me a bit more sanitation and a bit more empire maintenance. But to do that, we need to get to here. It's going to take a little while. Um, oh, we certainly want that up. Push up the empire maintenance. Certainly want the food. Actually. No, I think we can go with that for the moment. How's the sanitation in? Sanitation's good. I'm going to have to go and review all the sanitation eventually. Jura. This is... Nope, let's not. Right, let's just look at our partial... Oops, we got certainly want that in there get some food into this area We've got massive public order here I'm kind of thinking maybe it's time to convert that into so we can get some empire maintenance going again and we certainly want that effect working so how is the culture beyond here so the culture's up to 10% and building, that's good. That should make it easier to take over this settlement here. And I think just to finish, let's just put up my empire maintenance. So our, our empire maintenance is now down to 8.9% and that's why we're making so much money. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>